Last week, I corrected the biggest injustice in NXT history. Actually, more like history of the universe. How do you have a women's breakout tournament and not put me in it? But of course, I came to my own rescue and saved the tournament when I took Nikita's spot. Now everyone feels bad for Nikita. Who cares? Good leg, bad leg, it's not like she would have won anyway. Now I'm where I belong, in the finals. This will not be the first tournament I have ever won. I have a whole trophy room at my house filled with bodybuilding trophies, records, gymnastics medals, and cheerleading awards. When you expect greatness to happen to you, success pretty much follows you around like a personal assistant. I also work harder than everyone else, by the way. But I don't expect you average people to comprehend that. Wait, 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 can we talk about Roxanne Perez for a hot minute? Did you hear her story? OMG, such an eye roll. Her life is as exciting as a cardboard box. She rode a bus for 10 hours to Booker T's school. Sweetheart, there's this thing called like an airplane. It was invented like a hundred years ago. She also apparently missed her prom and I care why. She probably didn't even have a date. Oh, I'm so over everyone loving her. Next week, after I beat Roxanne in the finals, she can go cry on little Cora Jade's shoulder, and they can both watch me get handed that championship contract and then become the next NXT Women's Champion. I live on the who will make history? Who will earn a women's championship yeah. opportunity of their choosing? It's the finals next week live here on NXT.